Greetings, this is Elvin Turner, also known as Love Linux OS, and in various communities and in my blog site and on the web in the open source forum. Well, tonight I came across a very inter interesting website and I wanted to uh, just share with you guys. I've already wrote up my blog and so I wanted to share. So this is uh, makelinux.com and um, if you look at it, you're like, well, Constantine, Constantine, Shulapin, 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 Constantine Shulapin, you know, it just seemed like a, a very blah uh, website and everything, but when you go into it and look into the menu, you see that it's, it's a plethora of resources for the novice and uh, the experienced administrator, the developer, so quite a bit of resources here. Um, <clears throat> so this is the home page and I would just like to thank this uh, embedded Linux engineer for sharing with us inside the community so you got all these different different uh, diagrams um, and things that you can go and view and you know get a better understanding of what makes good new Linux or Linux what it is you know you have your resources just a ton of links you know what I'm saying, um, that you have right here to, to help you further understand your abilities. Um, plenty of them that I'm going to use because, like I said, the novice, the experience, you know, the administrator, the developer, the power user, there's just a, a plethora of tools here for everyone to take advantage of. Um, you have a fast boot resource page that you know. Um, how did you can embed a system make it boot faster uh, then you know you have the Linux technology reference guide but let me show you something really cool about this um, we come on I want to go in DaVinci um, process or whatever you have all of this and it's all about embedding Linux and learning more if that's what you want to learn about I don't say you know learn as much as you possibly can um, I think that one of the things that hit me what the most was right here was just the tool chain, learning about the Linux tool chain and everything. And and just how it comes to the wiki pages just tell you about so much about just an abundance of information to just get you fully uh, acclimated to what Linux is about and how to go about getting involved into the various communities of Linux. And so that's just, you know, that's just those those things. Um, but this particular one thing that really stood out to me the most and really what brought me to the site was this interactive map of the Linux kernel. And you gotta wait to let it load. And But the wait is just so worth it. You know, I, I thought this was another unique tool. Just like I said, I thought that the, um, the interactive map that's on uh, Wikipedia about the Linux kernel branches or the Linux, the new Linux distro branches. Just that was a unique map as well. I thought that I think these type of diagrams that lets you interact with them. Uh, some very unique tools um, and resources that you can use to take advantage of to learn more about not only the Linux distro but all the way down now to the various levels of the Linux kernel. Uh, you know, I thought that was just really, really nice, you know, um, and everything. We're going to give it time to load. If not, if it takes too long, what I have to do is uh, clear my cache and uh, come back to it or whatnot if it takes too long. Okay, so finally we have it, have the uh, the map loaded. Took some time, uh, but with the wheel of my mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out, and uh, you can pretty much use the, the the navigation pane over here to get to look at the map in more detail. Very nice map, very nice feature. You, you know. You need to see other portions of the map and get a good clear of what this 
model is showing, uh, you know, about the the kernel, about the Linux kernel, and everything and how it, how it works, what all how it connects. And so basically, when you want to uh, learn something about a little bit more detail, uh, let's just say you want to learn about uh, processes and kernel sig signals. And you click on the link, and then there you go. Here go all the source code, page showing all the source code, how that works. And this is written in C, uh, C programming language. And so it's getting you an idea of what's all going in to the actual programming of Linux uh, and everything. So I just thought this was a very nice interactive map. And, and other other cool key feature that I saw is that you you can come in um, and, and it tells you more about the map and everything. If you want to go to the human interfaces portion of the map. You come here and you come back to the Linux technology reference name. And I thought that was pretty cool. You know, you come to all these uh, nice cool features, you get different, you know, another interactive map. You know, you want to learn about KDE, known XLC, you know, um, it doesn't have LSD up here. I guess this map was made because LSD is relatively young, but very growing in popularity desktop um, package and everything. Learn about the different offices, uh, office programming that you have and all the different sources that you have to you. And so this is a nice map as well. Um, but this is just it. You want to learn about, uh, about Linux? you know the operating system in general then there it is it's going to bring that up as well you know you're going to get the wiki page for that and you don't want to go to GNU and, and learn about the GNU operating system which is um, is a big portion of Linux if you read about the history um, and everything you know you, you know um, that a lot of this software and why was you know Linux came about, you know, what it was all about and how it came about, you know, hey, that it took GNU to come together and the Free Software Foundation and then the, the licenses all to make Linux or GNU Linux work come to be what we know today is a full-fledged distributions and operating systems that we just take advantage of, you know, you don't have to pay and you get some of the best software that you can have on the planet to learn, work, play, and do everything you can with with your PC whenever you buy it. Um, lastly, you know, the last general thing that I want to talk about is that the documentation product. There is no excuse whatsoever if you want to know anything about Linux or GNU Linux or a particular distro. There is no excuse because you have everything laid out here, right here for you, um, very organized. All you have to do is bookmark it and come back to it and use it. I thought this was very slick, very nice. Once again, I wanted you guys to um, come and look at this interactive map um, kernel of the Linux kernel, um, make, make Linux. I hope I get Constantine Shulapin named correct uh, enunciated correctly um, I thought he did a fantastic job with his website and what he's offering what he's talking about to the, for the open source community um, for the open source movement for false free and open source software just spreading the word spreading uh, the information about open source how it's growing in popularity and how you can get involved Thank you and be blessed.